for first off, I want to say thank you very much to everybody who subscribed. In 2019, we received over 3,000 subscribers. Thank you to everybody that took the time to share with me how they farm rabbits or breed rabbits or how they do things. You know, I I love hearing different ways uh, how to how to farm and how to homestead and how to you know do whatever. And um, you know that doesn't necessarily mean that I'm going to flip the script and change everything, but I really appreciate um, information and new ways. And so thank you to everybody that did that. Happy New Year to, to your family, 2020. Happy, here's a quick picture of me and my family at our New Year's party. Yeah, we had a good time. And we actually had turkey and we had deep fried rabbit. And if you stay tuned to the end of this video, um, I'll show you how we did that and I'll, and I'll share that recipe. And, uh, so here's our video, how to make sure your rabbits get a good start and uh, stay healthy. Here we go. This is a system that really works well for us and we recommend it to everybody. We don't sell these or anything. This is just, this is something that you build in your backyard and uh, just trying to, to help people raising rabbits in the outdoors. So on day 10, at this point, our kits, uh, the kits have a little bit of fur on them. They're a little bit stronger and uh, they, they can be moved at this point to the grow out cage and they're not, um, Day 10 is a good time because they're not too big to the point where they're running around and they're, you know, they've already ventured out into the run. Um, you know, most of the time, mom instinctively will cover the toe, cover the entrance to the, the tile. They don't have, you know, in these cold temperatures, you don't have to worry about them from because from time to time, if you have um, freezing temperatures, they have may maybe buried the, their entrance to their tile and they can't dig their way back into it because it's frozen. They have enough fur on their bodies where they're, they're, they can handle the cold temperatures. Um, if they break clustered, if they want to venture out, maybe um, you know, go hang out with mama for a little bit and then go back to the, the nest, they're not going to freeze on the wire where they may on day two or three or four, they're still getting that fur. So on day 10, we'll, we'll gather all the kits. We we'll use a nesting box and we just turn it on its side. So we'll show you how we prepare that. Um, we have our own little design where we've added two by two on the bottom and a little bit of Luan to kind of give it, give the kits a little bit more shelter, like a sense of security where they can be in and around these corners, kind of like they have their own little hide. Here. 
So she's got her litter in there and uh, they're gonna be just fine. They're gonna remain in here for probably another four weeks. And right now they're just moving around trying to get in their cluster. I'm gonna get one second of this. Look at those dogs. Get it. 